Kenji TV and buddies, welcome to my Pokemon channel, and today I got a pretty intriguing battle for ya. Now, one day when I was in the area where I do all of my uh, YouTube stuff on all of my channels, I came across a person who noticed my uh, Pokemon necklace, it was a Pokemon friendship necklace. He was wearing a uh, Mewtwo coat that he got from uh, one of those Pokemon online merchandise sites. And we started talking Pokemon for a bit, that was pretty cool. And we agreed to one day have a battle, because I didn't have my 3DS on me at the time. And so a couple weeks later, he uh, eventually does see me, and we had a battle. So this is our furry first battle. This is me with uh, my buddy. His in-game name is Intree, which is pretty cool. So now I'm going to show you what happened in this intriguing battle. I begin with my signature Raichu, and he begins with Drake, his Umbreon. Uh, he used Perdek because he thought Raichu was going to use a move, but no, I used my signature Nasty Plot combo. And then I decided to do it again, because, well, the main thing about my Raichu is that I usually do all the Nasty Plots I want to until a Focus Sash thing. But this Umbreon, though, its uh, special attack isn't that high. So he went for Protect when I showed uh, what my actual move I was going to use against him was. Yeah, that wasn't the case. Uh, I tried it again, and that didn't work. He then used Torment. That was uh, pretty intriguing. However, there was one problem with that. I knew he was going to use Protect again, so that gave me one more opportunity that I can't use Focus Blast to use Nasty Plot. So that plan kind of backfired. So now I maxed out Mirachu's special attack, and this Umbreon, despite his special defenses, is gonna go down. So now we go to Pokemon number two, which is Jehenne Aiku. I'm, I don't know what that means, but uh, he found out that I have Focus Sash, and he figured out what my strategy was. He Mega Evolved his uh, Bayonet. I thought he was going to use something like Will-O-Wisp or something, but uh, it turns out he was actually going to try and attack him. To attack Mirachu. That did not work. Max Power Stab. Yeah, Mega was not going to get through to that. Then we have Togekiss. Now, because Mirachu was subject to Torment, I could not use Thunderbolt again, so I went for the Grass Knot, which did way more than I thought, even with a uh, four times power. Togekiss used Aura Sphere, and it didn't do as much as I thought it would. And then he used Extreme Speed, and that's game over for Mirachu. Figured out the plan. So the next one I bring in, of course, is Surfy. And Togekiss used Fly. <laughs> okay, that'll work. So I decided to Dragon Dance it up. And since I knew that Surfy would outspeed at this point... I decided to do it again and get both Surfy's attack power and speed power to a two times boost when Togekiss decides to attack the bulkiness of Surfy and leftovers, yay. So it gives extreme speed trying to get some damage in which uh, pretty much intrigued me because at the same time I use Ice Shard. <laughs> So, yeah. And I still have my leftovers. It actually did not faint it, which uh, kind of surprised me, but eh. But I decided to go for Ice Shard, just in case he used Extreme Speed again, but it didn't. I assumed it was going to try to use either Roost or Fly, so yeah. Ice Shard, night-night. So, uh, Surfy gets more of its power back. And then Nas comes out. Gallade, and that's the one I thought he was going to Mega Evolve, either him or the Charizard, and yeah. And I'm kind of surprised that this Gallade was not able to take that, because Gallade has some pretty good stats, even with uh, Surfy at two times attack. I'm kind of surprised that happened, but alright then. Then uh, Plepe, uh, Plepel comes out, uh, which is Empoleon, and then I reveal I have Drill Run, which is usually used for electric Pokemon, but hey, Steel works too. And it was a crit. <laughs> of course, dr a drill one's one of those uh, crit power moves, so that's cool. And so, with that in mind, comes the uh, last last Pokemon, Kristoff, 
which is his shiny Charizard. I've seen a lot of shiny Charizard lately. That's uh, pretty intriguing. So now with that, uh, Kristoff is out, and um, pretty intriguing battle. So uh, that was it for the first battle between me and Tree. He was very impressed and said he has to find a way to counter my Raichu. <laughs> And, uh, like me, he also does the super training, so that's pretty cool. So, I anticipate a, a future battle between me and Ingtree pretty soon. I'll really enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching, and that's my final answer.